Uh, I'll be jumping in and out because uh, I'll be judging the event, just helping out with some judge questions. Uh, pretty, got a pretty good turnout today. We got about 29 today, I think, 28. I don't know what the final number is. Yeah, it's 28 to 29. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of interesting decks, which is very nice to see. So we got Terrence playing a different version of um, uh, MTI. Which is nice, and uh, looks like Dean's playing his regular uh, setup. Uh, good, good stuff, Val. So he probably just wants to steal an agenda to get rid of this. Uh oh, it's Obakata. Yeah. <clears throat> it's unfortunate that Terrence still hasn't seen an agenda, uh, a piece of ice to protect any of his ice. Oh, and yeah, that works. Yeah, being as good at it, <laughs> the, the flick, get out of here. <laughs> it is a it is a painful agenda, but sometimes you got to steal it right. So uh, turn two is inject. Let's see what we got. Sure gamble, inject, daily cast, daily cast. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be a credit daily cast, most likely. And then he's probably going to toss, it looks like, the MK Ultra in his hand. Uh, what? Oh, he d doesn't talk. Oh, I see. Dean's probably scared of um, Arc Lockdown. Yeah. So he's drawing enough cards as is, so he, he'll he he'll suffer the... Uh, I mean, that is a threat. I don't know if Terrence has it in his hand, but he does have it in his deck. Yeah, I see a, I see a copy of an HP card in his hand, and so I definitely see the... Uh, arc locked down in his hand, so that's smart of uh, Dean to decide not to toss him away when it seems like a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Incentive uh, to want to toss them away because you just play them. But when I guess the case like this, you just want to make sure you don't want to do blunders. Ooh, okay. So Terrence looks like he has a surveyor. Uh, Ooh, look at that. We do have deck lists. Awesome. Um, Victor, when you get a chance, just reload the overlay because I think the right hand deck Man, I, I'm really liking this overlay. Right, uh, so yeah, we do have deck lists this time. So we can see, uh, which we don't have the right one, though. Yes, uh, we're just pushing that over to uh, uh, Terrence's Ter Terrence side. But I will really like it, yes. But <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. <laughs> make some tweaks in a moment here to the overlay just to make sure. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Just needed to restart. So it looks like the classic. Ooh, the archivist. Interesting. Uh, divide and conquer. Yeah, that's uh, one of the new R and R cards that's been uh, been pretty pretty good so far. So it looks like double advance and. Pop the NGO to get some money. He's been poor for this quite a while, so that's a good start for him. Uh, we do apologize about the noise here today. Uh, we do have our regionals event on top of the uh, net run, uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh pre-releases today. Yeah. So uh, you'll probably hear a bunch of the voice overlays in the background. Anywho, uh, what are your thoughts about this um, matchup? <coughs> Yeah, ask me those things. I've been so long from Denver, <laughs> I'm actually just filling in a kind of emergency commentator because one of our commentators called in sick this morning. Uh, Such a shame. But, so, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll put in my two cents. So, what Dean probably wants to do is just <clears throat> get down his Clan Vengeance as soon as possible so he can just toss a bunch of uh, Terrence's cards away from his hand because that's what MTI's ability is strong for is to... You know, install ice as a you know fast reaction, and it looks like I see zero. Uh, oh, never mind. It looks like a zero, but oh, so he did find it by now. Yeah, so he just has ice cover out. <coughs> a good part of his kit. Yeah, which is going to be very helpful considering I think I saw a cortex lock in play for one of them. So bringing that for only two instead of six is pretty key. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like so. double advance and an IPO. Yep. So it, that's probably. Okay. Uh, that's probably, it looks like, the NGO. And Dean's just giving no, uh, no consideration regarding the uh, thing there because he just wants to get the zero Clan Vengeance. So he's getting things set up. 
Yeah. I would do the same thing, too. If this is an agenda, let him score it. If it's not an agenda, then that's fine. Terrence is getting a lot of agendas, uh, one and one. So I don't know what this is. It looks like it's a Velotic. Yeah, Velotic. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to trigger another uh, Clan Vengeance. Ooh, but losing a Clan Vengeance, that's that's pretty key, too. So, uh, so install, advance, or sorry, advance, score, and install. So gains the last uh, two off of that. Oh, employee strike. Zeros. Ooh, losing a. Uh, losing an indexing. That's pretty key. Uh, looks like Terrence has, I think, four cards left hand. So five. My apologies. Sorry, I looked away for a moment. I don't know what happened. He ran HQ and then stole uh, uh, Nisei. That's pretty big. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just use it right now. Get rid of the three cards. There's high likelihood that there's going to be an agenda gone. So, it's going to make these three go away. Which is, I think, the danger of... Okay. Ice and double advance. All right. Yeah. The uh, danger of these kind of decks is that uh, you want to set up a bunch, but... Oh, man. That feels good. Draw five. <laughs> Sorry, my. Uh, what I meant to say is, MTI really likes to, you know, play ice and a bunch of stuff and kind of set up. Whereas Climvent just kind of just throws that out of the picture and just, just hand just drops like, like crazy. Yeah, he's got to get a big server yeah. so he can make sure his. Uh, so goes hand or no, goes R and D. Oh, okay. <laughs> goes Erka. Well, yeah, might as well check. Doesn't look like anything was an agenda. Oh, so the Nisei Mark II is in the uh, scored uh, scoring remote. Okay, I see. Yeah. So zero. Excuse me. So it's zero. Uh, dirty laundry, paperclip, and run. Okay. Doesn't want to let him score this. No, I, I, I wouldn't either. But he's got only ten credits, so. He can rest two surveyors, and that'd be yeah. pretty either, nice. Either he's going to keep him out, and it's really going to impact yes. Terrence's tempo. Yes. Or uh, he's going to be so useless. he'll be able to get in with five credits and a bat pub. And if there happens to be another, um, my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. If he happens to see another surveyor, then he can still break it again. So, but he's probably going to do the. Oh, wonder if he'll forget about the. Oh. All right. So breaks it in because it's uh, strength five, courtesy of uh, Ice Carver. Yep. Ah, there it is. If I was Terrence to choose here, uh, he's got five credits. Dean's got six. I'll probably bid. Probably bid one. But knowing knowing me, I would probably bid zero. But I think it's one. Two. Yeah. All right. Spins. Yeah. So, probably fires the end of run subroutine. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised that Dean actually installed the paperclip there when, uh, if he was really worried about Kakugo, he could just break it. Like, is there a barrier that he's really worried about that's in, uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't mean <coughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything that bad in... Uh, oh, it's going back inside. Wait, does he have enough actions to do that? This is last clip. Thank you. Yeah. So uses it all to get in. No res. And score. There it is. Okay. I was under the impression that we were only at the last click during that run. But, yeah, good on... Uh, I mean, it happens. You get agenda flooded. And you get into situations like this where you just kept drawing agenda on agenda. Ooh, seeing Rebirth early. That's pretty good. <coughs> he probably wants to set up as soon as possible as well. Uh, Terrence is also running the Zero Clan Vengeance package. Uh, ooh, I see Liberty Village already. So that's an interesting start. Oh, doesn't want it, though. Interesting. I kind of want to keep that. Oh well. Do each their own. 
to probably talk a little bit about what some of these cards do when we're talking about them. Not everyone is going to be completely up to date, particularly given how scarce some of these cards are right now. Yes, my apologies. So I'll explain uh, Liberty Village. I think that's what it's called. Lady Liberty. <laughs> Even I don't know the name. Uh, so it's a five cost, five trash asset. At the beginning of the turn, it gives a power counter on it. Uh, it with three clicks, you can just pop away the uh, agenda ability to, or score, not score, place an agenda in your hand to go directly into the score area. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, it the, the unfortunate part of it is that you cannot reduce the uh, power counters once it goes up. It's stuck as is. So you kind of have to, you got maybe two or three shots before it goes away. Perhaps certain decks might use, let's say, Blue Sun. That might transform that into a different um, ability that could toss uh, maybe Liberty back to hand and start again. Which seems like a good interaction, but the disadvantage is that Liberty to Liberty is also a uh, region as well. Which you cannot use... Uh, Breaker Bay Grid to so reduce the cost. Into, uh, Omar. Omar, gotcha. And, uh, Gene, quick install, twice advanced. Doing the Clan Vengeance started up on Terrence's side now as well. That's correct. Wants to get that going. Oh boy. Draw five. That seems like a pretty good ability. Gain one, like draw five? Yeah. Ability. And get to uh, discard a card at random? Seems a little bit stacked, but. It is a 50-50, I guess. So, um, nice that Terrence uh, transformed into Omar, but I don't think he's used that ability yet. Well, he just did it last time. Right. So, he's got Dirty Laundry into, which I assume is a HQ, I think. Oh, boy. He's got to run to a Chiashi. Yeah, like, he put a Chiashi in front of HQ. He's probably going to res it, but... Yeah, he's going to res Chiashi, yeah. Denies five credits. Um, gets rid of four cards. I think there was a Night Horse in there somewhere. Yep, there, yep. Uh, gets two more counters on Clan Vengeance. It's very dangerous. <laughs> but... Doesn't Going through the, this time, but no, not five. <laughs> I would, if I was Terrence, Dean's only got worse. yes. <clears throat> that could have been DNA tracker. No, but that would have helped his setup as well. So runs R and D. Uh, he may have. Uh, he's considering whether he wants to run or anything. I would. Yeah, just run it and see what's up. Let's look at what it is. It looks... So I'm assuming that's an upgrade yep. there. Uh, it's probably Chrysium. Yeah, it looks like it's Chrysium. Is that a Chrysium? Yeah. It had a Wayland uh, symbol okay. on it. And I think Dean only has one Wayland card in his deck. So... Uh, installs. Looks like Advance, Advance. Like yes, I would, I would, I would go with that. Okay. So, big bluff here, considering that Dean does not have a piece of ice to protect that. Uh, and he say, but Terrence might also think it is a NGO as well. I mean, I think it's relatively low risk. I think you do it run anyways. I, I would completely agree. Yeah, make him lose cards in his hand, so less opportunity to install a piece of ice in that server. Smart. Run R&D. Sees what I imagine was an operation. This is, could be a big turn for Terrence if he runs right. Omar's into HQ. Okay. That means there's agendas on the board and in... That is correct. Archives. That is correct. Oh, my. Did Terran, does Terrence have an apocalypse? Oh, my. Oh, my God. He does have an apocalypse. Yeah, he's like, do I score the Obakata or do I apocalypse? Like, you can't, do it, you can't protect it, so... Damn. You might as well do the apocalypse. I would, I would do it as well. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Kaboom! Krakatoa! Yeah, I didn't think uh, Dean anticipated the 
Apocalypse there. So, and that puts game for Terrence in uh, Dean's archives. Oh, another agenda. That, that's pretty brutal. Does he have any... Uh, does not have any cheap ice? Yeah. No, nothing that can have a good ETR. <laughs> Reminds him that it's not a constant ability. I would probably... A very quick round, I think. Yeah, I think Terrence will probably have to draw cards up to try to protect... To have the ability to score the yeah. uh, El Probably, I would maybe draw twice, maybe. And then run a... Yeah, run, draw twice. Yeah. There's like a good chance that it's a... Uh, I mean, he think he knows that he's got the avocado there. He doesn't know that the rest of the game is. That is correct. So that is correct. He's, he's he's planning for the remainder of the game. But I think I, you got to take you got to take a chance now. Well, oh, wow. Declines the option. So I mean, you saw Dean drawing like crazy, which I assume Going was poor. Yes. And hope you can steal. Dean's getting very unlucky here. He's seeing a lot of agendas as well, which is the exact same thing that happened with Terrence too. So, although was that a play strike in uh, Terrence's hand? I did not see it. Uh, pretty sure. Wow. Where, did you just go R and D there? He just went blindly into R and D and then got an SSL. It looks like he has a. If he has an employee strike, then. He just plays the employee strike in Joe's, right? I don't think he has an employee strike in his hand. No. I thought he did. Yeah, and there it is. There there's the archive run. Yep, and there's another. All right, Very... well, that's, I think that's 10 points, Victor. It's 10 points. Yeah. Boom, 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 10 points. 